Hi, this is Chris Gebhardt with NetApp. Today I'd like to talk to you about flash cache and transparent storage cache sharing. The NetApp flash cache is an expansion module that accelerates all data, including deduplicated and non-duplicated data sets. Let's take a look at how flash cache can help in a virtual environment. As virtual computing environments grow, so does the need for storage in both capacity and performance. In VMware View environments, Flash Cache has the ability to alleviate simultaneous burst activities such as boot, login, or virus scan storms by reducing the amount of data being requested from physical disk. And just like data on disk, Flash Cache is dedupe aware, so only one deduplicated block will reside in memory. Thus, Flash Cache can help extend and optimize your storage investment. And just like VMware virtualizes and shares physical server memory, Flash Cache with deduplication virtualizes and shares array cache and disk. By reducing the number of spindles with Flash Cache, customers can reduce cost, rack space, power, and cooling while achieving equal or better performance. And certain workloads can reduce the number of fiber channel or SAS drives by up to 75% or provide equivalent performance with more capacity with SATA. All of these benefits can help your company provide a green IT solution. VMware has the ability to virtualize and share physical server memory with transparent page sharing. NetApp does the same thing for storage with transparent storage cache sharing. This is the concept of using deduplication to reduce the storage footprint on disk and cache, thus accelerating access with flash cache. With traditional legacy storage, each object on disk must have a unique copy in memory. With data on tap, NetApp's operating system, deduplicated data on disk is also deduplicated in cache. Therefore, multiple files with similar content can be stored only once in cache. This is the concept of Transparent Storage Cache Sharing, or TSCS. This ability is extended with the Flash Cache module. It works on any data set, VMs, user data, or clone databases. And best of all, TSCS doesn't require data migration from tier to tier. The process is tierless. You set it and forget it. Now let's see it in action. For this particular demo, we're going to boot a thousand virtual machines. We're going to select and power on the 1,000 virtual machines in vCenter. Click Power. See the tasks all starting. Sort. And we're going to go to the system console here. And you can see that the network output and disk reads are approximately equal, about 225 megasecond. This is a visual graph of the uh, network output, about 225 megasecond. Again, the amount of disk reads, about 225 megasecond. Now we're going to go here and stop the console and enable TSCS through the flex scale enable command and run sysdat and you can see the dramatic decrease in the amount of disk reads from 225 megasecond down to under or right about 10 and again on the, on the graph uh, shows basically the same thing so TSCS reduces the amount of I.O. being read from disk and waffle write optimization would handle the writes for all write storm activity. TSCS works in virtual server and desktop environments. And TSCS also works for test dev database environments. With traditional legacy storage controllers, one would have to copy the database, which consumes both time and space. With NetApp hardware assisted cloning, Space-efficient database copies can be made instantaneously. This also means that since the database is intelligently cloned, data can be accelerated by TSCS and Flash Cache. And with Exchange 2010, single instance storage is going away. More storage will be required over previous versions of Exchange. NetApp's unique ability to deduplicate encapsulated data 
results in a reduction of data and accelerated data access. TSCS works for all data, regardless if the data is encapsulated. So if data is nested in containers such as a Word document within an end user's Outlook OST, NetApp's block level deduplication and flash cache have the ability to work through these layers of encapsulation to reduce the storage footprint and accelerate access to the data. Take for example, an email is sent to these three users. It contains a Word file. This Word file is then stored within an Outlook offline OST file on a VMDK, in a VMFS data store, on a NetApp LUN. NetApp can still deduplicate the data because it works at the block level. NetApp deduplication works on all data and is transparent to end users. And by the way, it's not file level deduplication or compression. With NetApp dedupe and flash cache, you can extend and optimize your storage investment. FlashCache and TSCS are available with NetApp, IBM, and third-party arrays with the NetApp V-Series. VMware NetApp. Go further, faster.